everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Joe's to Pros Academy SQL Server Unlock Series. I'm Bali Kehel. With me is Rick. Uh, we're going to be talking about dynamic SQL today. This is a very interesting topic. Everybody uses it in their day-to-day -day SQL uh, query and practices. So Rick, tell me a little bit more about dynamic SQL. Well, dynamic SQL, it's kind of like putting a piece of a puzzle together. And then once you have the puzzle together, you see what it says. You can have SQL statements built from string or inputs and then have that code run under SQL Server. Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. It is more interesting when you see it than when you talk All about right. it. Let's, let's dive into okay, it. Let's, let's look at the screen here. So I'm going to show this statement. Now, if I have a declare statement, and this is my select statement, select star, and if we ran this select star, SQL will say, select what? Mm -hmm. Well, we need the table name. So I'm going to have another variable that I'm going to call from. So if I have my select and my from, and I put those together, select star from a table called management training, then it'll actually run the code. Well, let's just look. Let's do a print statement, which just shows it to the screen. And let's look to see what select plus from in these variables looks like. Select star from management training. Now, you know, I could copy and paste this into a new window, and that wouldn't be very amazing because that's a manual process, but you can see that this, this is runnable code in its own right. So rather than printing it, why don't I just write exec for execute? Don't print me the statement, actually run the statement. I run it, and it produces the results. And of course, here we could change it to any type of table that we have, and then it dynamically, it will pull from whatever table we're interested in. Now, there's some things to look out for. See, this is a regular statement right here that runs from the management training table. But if you think you're going to pull up regular SQL and combine it with uh, you know, a character set, right. this is not going to work. So you have to combine both of them and then execute them at the same time. So obviously, if I take a, let's say, a character set and I store it in a variable, and that's my select statement, or that, sorry, that's my table name. And so I say select star from, and I think that this is going to come out, this is actually going to err on me. This is the most common mistake people make when they're first getting into SQL. They think they can combine a regular statement and concatenate it with mm -hmm. a character. You can't. So this would work where we have management training in a variable, and then this hard-coded string right here. This is actually going to run a statement. All right, so how does this help us? Well, we can make it bigger. Here's the query. Here's the table name. So I've got a query select star from, and now I'm just adding the table name. And now to abstract it fully, I've prepared this stored procedure statement, where we create a stored procedure, and all the stored procedure wants to know is, what table do you want? You give me the table, I'll give you the data. So the stored procedure is going to declare a varchar of whatever you passed in for this, uh, uh, what, well, sorry. It's, it's going to declare a SQL varchar, and that's going to be equal to select star from plus what was ever passed in. And then it's simply going to run the execute statement against that dynamic SQL. So let's create this stored procedure, and now we can call on it by executing the management training table or the location table. So that's the basics of how dynamic SQL works and what it is. There's a lot more power, features, there's even some risks. There's something called SQL injection, but we cover all of that in volume four of the developer series on the Joe's Rose Academy. All right, great. This was a great presentation. Everybody in the audience, thanks for watching. Do give your feedback. Go to joestopros.com. Until next time, thank you. Mm -hmm.